I did this out of muscle memory and we had to actually stop and come back and think to record it. After I had this assembled, I simply just went like this. What am I checking? Make sure it rotates free. If for some reason putting those cases on binds in a thing and you keep on going and then the motor's hard to turn over once everything else is in play, it's you're gonna have to you have to disassemble the whole thing. But I want to think about it. once the valve train and cams and all that's in here, would a hard to turn crankshaft even be overlooked? Because now you're getting a wrench on there to turn it over because you're having to overcome the valve springs. You might not even catch it. So at, at all these points, you need to stop and check your work. Um, but anyway, so we're good here, and now we can move forward. Okay. What we're going to do is just wrap it around, hold it on top here, kind of center this here. We're going to line up this notch with that notch on the piston. Put it in here. And then instead of using the precision tool, I'm just going to verify. We'll go ahead and slide that pin back. I'm going to verify that it's fully inserted in, in place. It is not. Actually, let's see if we can't zoom in. Let's see here. Loosen up. Can you see how it's not fully seated? Yep. How easy is that to overlook? Really? Okay, now if this is this is on the bike or whatnot, and this is at waist level, if you guys are not getting down there and getting flashlights out and looking at what you're doing, you're gonna overlook this stuff. I mean it took a magnifying glass multiplied 40 times for you to be able to see that. So let's go ahead and go back here. Now, why would you want the wrist pin in there on the bench? Why would we want this in here on the bench? So it doesn't go past it? Yeah, because what we don't want it to do is just to creep right on past there. So let's see if we can't listen and hear this. I'll ask you to hold the piston again. Okay, you ready? We'll see if we can't get that audible click. Did you hear it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now let's look at the camera again. Look at that. Feel real confident about that? Yep. yep. Let's back it up here. We'll get the other side. Kind of zoom in there. And then you can see that when the, the right piston or piston pins in there, you can see how good that is. Okay. A couple of last notes here. We're going to speed through this uh, on the bike itself, but you've got the open end of the clip. You can see ours is uh, at the top here. Let's see if you can see that. See the open end there? Okay, what we don't want is we do not want the open end by this relief right here. So I know we're doing a Harley video here, but this can be used on a lot of other things. And where you place that is important. The manual will say not to have that. Because what we're typically doing is coming in here with a screwdriver, and we go ahead and we just bend this. And uh, if that was exposed, if you had that open, how would you get the clip out? You'd have to take something like a... 90 degree pick and this is not desirable at all and you'd have to go in here and you'd have to pry and try and drag this clip around so that it would get into a place that you could actually get some meat on it you know so per harley davison the idea with this guy too is i should be able to get underneath here grab that clip you want to hold the piston uh, the pin too oh. I'll just cut that off. Ready? I'm trying not to be in the video. You're not. And there I went. Okay. All right. I prefer the other method. On the piston, we want to make sure and keep in mind. We want to keep in mind, we've marked these between front and rear. You can't mix them up, but see the arrow here? All right, so those arrows have to go in an intended position. And so on the motorcycle, since I'm doing the rear here, this arrow faces towards the front of the motorcycle. So here's our front cylinder. I'm actually going to race against myself here and demonstrate two different methods of how to install these cylinders. This is method one where we use it a lot 
in the single cylinder dirt bike world, ATV world, motorcycle world, you name it, just to uh, have a little bit more control. We have a much uh, more detailed video on this in our playlist uh, on uh, cylinder and piston installation. Two ways of doing that. 